Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new, let's go ahead and get right into today's video. I'm so glad you're back, okay? Okay, y'all. So as you all know, Doja Cat is in her album era, okay? She's been teasing her new album called Hellmouth, all right? And um, as you all know, she's been discussing the album and how it's going to go. And as of right now, she's saying it's going to be a fully rap album okay um a fully rap vibe um am i here for that um maybe we're gonna see we're gonna see okay but the thing about it is i feel like honestly doja cat um felt a bit offended that people were not calling her a rapper okay i feel like this is a response of doja cat um you know being called oh she's a singer oh she's just a girl who makes pop music you know i think she's taking all that energy into this album and that's honestly just how i feel um but do i feel like her album will be a hit even without any pop sounding um fun sounds i don't fucking know um Hopefully, you know what I'm saying, because it is Doja Cat and she is a hit maker, um, but she may need to just have one or two um, pop sounds, uh, one or two, you know, singing melody type music just so the album can perform well, okay? Because typically, pure rap music does not perform well on the charts or um, for general audiences, okay? Um, it, just, it just doesn't. And it's not because it's bad or anything. It just does not perform as well as a song that's poppy, bubblegum pop. You know, it just doesn't have that same effect, okay? And that's honestly just my opinion on that. Um, let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Do you all feel like even with the rappy, rappy, she's still going to be successful? Um, let me know down below in the comment section if we go ahead and talk about that, okay? But I definitely feel like the conversation about her not being a rapper struck a nerve. It definitely struck a fucking nerve. Well, damn. Well, damn, well, damn, well, damn. It seems like Lotto cannot catch a break, okay? Um, now, she is currently allegedly being dragged by JT, okay? And JT said um, she looks her age, okay? And she's basically just saying that because, you know, people be saying a certain thing about Lotto looking like she's about 65 in the face, okay? Now, in my opinion, could this be Lotto's shade? Um, it could be, you know, it really could be. You never know what's going on behind the scenes, okay? And Lotto, unfortunately, she does look like a grandma, okay? She does have that granny mug. And that's no shade to Lotto. It's just a fucking fact, you know what I mean? It's just a fact. But I do think that, um, um, you know, Lotto is becoming the new running joke, okay? About um, looking older in the industry, okay? She is becoming the new um, laughing stock at having an old face. So every time somebody says that, oh, you don't look your age, oh, you look old in the face, everybody's mind goes to Lotto. And um, unfortunately, she just needs to do less face makeup and she'll be all right. But other than that, she should be fine. Um, but you know, all this would have never happened if she would have just kept her mouth shut, okay? Let's be real. All this lotto, this lotto, that, da, da, da. It would have never been none of that if she kept her mouth shut. Now we're here six, seven months later, and she's being called Granny Face. She's being called Karen. She's being called White Girl. She's being called all these things. She's flopping all because of her mouth, okay? That mouth can get you in a lot of trouble. You got to watch it. So how do y'all feel about that? Do you all feel like it was Lotto Shade? Do you all feel like she was being shady? whoop de whoop de woo Let me know your opinion down below in the comment section, and we can go ahead and talk about that, okay? But until then, let's move on to this next topic, okay? All right, y'all. So it seems like Nikki, 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 Nikki. Um, it seems like she is currently going to be having a Latin collab, another collab with another Latin artist. As you all know, she collabed with Carol G on the Tusa um song. That song went crazy, went crazy, went crazy. I mean, and apparently she may be teasing a new song in this recent paparazzi interaction. Here is the clip. Are you gonna do another collab with another Latin artist? Hopefully, muy pronto. Pronto. I can't wait for the Kim Patras collab, Nikki. Can't wait for the Kim Patras collab. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Love you. You have a blessed night. So, as you can see, she was saying she hopefully wished it can happen. Okay. Now, if she is going to do this, I feel like Bad Bunny would be a great person um, to do a collab with, okay? I would love to see them collab. And I would also not mind another Carol G collab. That would be amazing as well. 
Um, but like I just said, I would not mind a Carol G collab again. I feel like that would be a vibe. Um, maybe they could do kind of like a continued version of Tusa. That would eat as well. I would love that. Um, and they can go ahead and break some more records, okay? And she could do a song with Anita. That would be nice as well. Um, yes, y'all. So how do y'all feel about that? Which Latin artist would you all love to see her collab with? Or are you all just fine with whatever the hell she does when it comes to her collabs? Let me know your opinion down below in the comment section. We can go ahead and talk about that okay but until then let's move on to this next topic okay all right y'all so it seems like dochi is currently being called a fucking flop because her new song with kodak black is not really performing how they think it should be um her new song called what it is aka block boy is currently out and i love the song but people on social media are saying that the song could have been bigger than what it is okay now if you ask me the song is doing fine the song has been out for three weeks and it has almost 2.5 million views and if you ask me as a new artist i think that's pretty much fine okay as a new artist it may take some time for your songs to really grow the damn song came out three weeks ago okay three weeks is not enough time for a big old massive hit to pop out unless you're already an established artist Oh, unless you have a big, 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 big budget behind you, okay? Now, I feel like this song um, really is a vibe. It's really a vibe, and I feel like I can see it on the radio. I can feel it being a viral hit. Um, do I think Kodak Black ruined the song? A little bit, but I don't think it was like he ruined it in a way of it sonically. I think more so morally, yes, you know, his past and everything, but he did pretty decent on the song. Um, it's a cool little Florida vibe. It's a little vibe, um, but I definitely, definitely, definitely am rooting for her and i think people are being a little bit too harsh on her um i don't think the song necessarily flopped at all it's doing better than most of her other songs okay and that's my opinion on that okay let me know your opinions down below in the comment section and we can go ahead and talk about that all right but until then let's move on to this next topic okay y'all so it seems like lotto is currently being exposed by the um big body lee um jason lee about her currently allegedly all right asking to pay to have some information removed of her off the blogs okay and it's all about that little sorry ass tattoo behind her ear about her alleged boyfriend or alleged man 21 savage okay let's get into this let's hear what big body lee had to say okay conversation online because he's married and people thought he was married to stay in this country because in order to not get deported you got to be married or go through the pathway of citizenship mm -hmm. that you are right and then people were posting it and went viral and then i started getting calls from your team saying that you you allegedly wanted to pay me to take it off of hollywood unlocked and i wasn't going to remove it but i asked my team to check to see if anybody else had posted although i think we posted it first everybody started posting it and then it became a thing where i think then she got from what i understand was unhappy with us not taking it down because no calls have been returned i reached out to her team we had a conversation about it or whatever and so to go and then ask Chloe if she was allegedly in a sexual relationship with Quavo, asking the T, how can you do a show and be legitimate as a show person when you don't want your own tea spilled and won't own up to sip your own? Now, typically, I don't agree with pigs, okay? But in this one, one, one moment, okay, I do have to agree with Jason Lee, okay? I do have to agree with the big body because it seems like Lotto just likes to lie. Um, you're paying blogs to delete information about you? When you claim that was not your man, okay? Y'all both, 21 and Lotto, well, actually, fuck that, okay? Lotto been dropping hints all this time, okay? But 21 been saying, oh, that's not my woman. That's not, my, I'm, you know, he's single. 21 been saying he's single, okay? So Lotto has been hinting at a relationship, but she's not saying that it's 21 Savage, okay? But we all know it is, okay? But if that's not your man, right, why are you allegedly paying the blogs to take down information about him okay but in my opinion i feel like lotto is just a big old imposter she's a liar and a fraud um and that's honestly just how i feel about it okay it's just how i feel about it i really am just tired of her games and her silly antics all right um but that's just how i feel about it i don't know how you feel about it maybe you all support it maybe you all love it let me know down below in the comment section your opinion about the whole entire 21 savage and lotto thing um honestly if you ask me um it's just embarrassing if you ask me okay let's move on to this next topic okay y'all so it seems like chloe is going to be having a top 25 debut on the album's chart okay now for a new artist a new album personally i don't think it's that 
bad. When I say bad, I mean, I don't think it's that terrible. Because at least she's going to be in the top 25, okay? It's better than her being in the 50s and the 60s and the 70s, okay? It's not that bad, all right? But personally, I would love it if she was at least top 10, okay? But the album may rise, okay? It may eventually rise. Maybe she's going to get a hit on the album. Who the fuck knows, okay? We don't know what's going to happen to this album. Maybe she may get a remix on the album that's going to make it go crazy, okay? Maybe she may get a Beyonce remix on one of these songs, okay? Now, I'm not delusional, so I know that's not going to happen, okay? But I'm saying that would be a nice little vibe, okay? A little Beyonce remix, get her to the top 10 or something like that, all right? Because Chloe needs these numbers pushing, okay? She needs to have these numbers pushing, all right? But personally, though... I'm just here for the vibes. I love the music. I don't care. I'll be seeing her in concert. So either way, I'm going to still be vibing regardless of the numbers, regardless of the stats, regardless of any of the BS that people who aren't listening to the music care about. Um, Because honestly, those who aren't paying attention to the music, they're the only ones who care about the positionings of the charts and those things and the sales and all that rah-rah, okay? Because if you genuinely enjoy the music, you won't give a damn about the sales or anything like that. All right, so that's just my opinion on that. How do y'all feel about that? Let me know your opinion down below in the comment section if we can go ahead and talk about that, y'all. Okay, but until then, I will see you in the next video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, tap the bell so you can get an alert every time a new video is posted, and I will see you in the next video. Be safe.